G'day, Ross here from DGTV. Thanks for joining us once again for a very short product introduction vlog on, yes, it's the new range of, you can see the bag there, Odyssey putters for 2022. You might have seen the release come out in early January. Well, this is my first time to get my hands on it, so I thought I'd just quickly come down, end of the day, have a little practice putt and bring some of the putters out and give you the first look, my first uh, impressions, and, but more importantly, give you the key technologies that you might want to look for when you're considering an Odyssey putter jumping into your bag for 2022 to make your game even better. Speaking about games being even better, there are a number of the world's best players that choose Odyssey, and if you look at the number of wins that the brand has had over the years, you can see why year in, year out, they dominate the putting charts on tour, and also dominate the new releases and the new technology updates year in, year out. So this year is no different. The White Hot OG family, well that continues, and there are some new additions to that family. OG, white hot, the white hot insert, been around for years. It's now even more prominent in the brand. It's that beautiful white TPU insert, giving that great roll, that great feel. Everything that you demand, everything that the better players demand in the feel of a new putter, that's what you get when you get the white hot OG. Well, there's some new models added to the range this year. The seven crank handle, seven CH, that's inspired by Xander Schauffele. When we talk about the best players, Xander Schauffele chooses Odyssey. He's got that number seven shape with that crank handle neck, the little gooseneck. There's the number seven bird that you can see here. There's also the 33 inch blue and white color edition, uh, women's edition. But the one that caught my eye as a new model was the uh, 7 Nano, Nano being small. So we've got the traditional number 7 shape but and this flow neck. So that's a little different. So that's basically been inspired by the number 9, the, the Phil Mickelson type blade. For that player that likes a blade but really demands or wants some forgiveness that the mallet shape offers. You can see here it's all in that flow neck. So that putter is designed to work like a blade but give you that forgiveness. So that's an interesting one, a little bit smaller in the head. Of course, the White Hot OG family have the Stroke Lab shaft, counterweighting up here, and the Odyssey range of grips, premium stuff. Last year, a significant release to the family was the number 10. Once again, it is a great looking mallet with uh, two ball 10 technology, so two ball alignment, uh, high MOI, sleek looking putter. It stays in the range, but it gains the white hot insert face. So that's once again, feedback from the tour, players wanting that white hot face in that forgiving mallet shape with the two ball and the variety of alignment technology, which you can see here on the screen, that stays. But it's joined by another new mallet, which once again, has been inspired by tour feedback, the 11. But let's have a look at one. I've actually got two here, you can see there, triple track on this side, uh, the white tour line here, and the other model is the all black. So if you like that sleek, all black, blacked out look, you've got a, you've got a model there. If you like that white tour line for your alignment, you've got that. Or if you become familiar with the Odyssey's triple track technology, which of course you can get in the Chrome Soft Ball family and the putters, you might like the 11. But one of the significant features about the 11, so where the 10 was very forgiving, high MOI, a little bit rear weighted, this is a mallet which has got some forward weighting, so forward CG, but still with the forgiveness of a mallet. So that's once again, that tour inspiration from that player that likes that weight forward, more like a blade you could say, but still wants the forgiveness and the look of a mallet to really help them set up to the ball, to give them the confidence at address, to really get their alignment dialed in when they've got to make those money-making putts. So maybe if you like a little bit of a blade action, but value the mallet, you might try the 11. It's a great looking putter. Of course, always in a range of different necks, Stroke Lab shaft and Odyssey's signature grip. However, however, these two here are the most significant new releases from Odyssey. It's the 5K Tri-Hot family. Now the secret is in those two terms, 5K, 5,000 IZZs. And that's basically at the upper end or the maximum scale of MOI that you can get when you measure the forgiveness factor or the moment of inertia that a putter can offer you. That's the stability through the stroke. That's how stable it wants to stay when it's swinging in motion. But the significant thing is that the 5K Tri-Hot family is a range of blades. So you just heard me talking about MOI and mallets. Well, this is forgiveness in a blade, once again. You'll notice a lot of the best players in the world sometimes putt with a blade, but they still want forgiveness. They still want access to that technology that helps them get the ball in the hole quicker and more often. Well, the 5K Tri-Hot might be the one that you'll see being predominant on tour with the Callaway and Odyssey staffers this year. 
Now Trihot, that's the other part of the name that's really significant. Three signature metals employed here in the manufacture of this 5K Trihot. We've got aircraft aluminium down back, so obviously a little bit lighter. Once again, giving us this, the shape that we need, but allowing the engineers to really place the weight up front. So very forward CG, but very high MOI and wide weight positioning. Stainless steel at the front here, so you can see the milling on the face and of course the white hot insert there for that great feel and great roll and great performance as the putter strikes the ball. But it's what you can't see that's important. What you can't see, these little weights here are indicators. Now they are also weights, but what you can't see are the weights that are up milled into the back of the face, up in here two heavy tungsten weights, one in the toe, one in the heel. And it's that tungsten heavy weight which has allowed the engineers to get the weight wide, get the weight to the toe and the extremities, and that's what gives you the high MOI. So we've got tungsten in behind the face here, stainless steel here, aircraft grade aluminium, changeable weights here, and a variety of models in a blade shape. There are five models in the family. There really is a blade shape there, some traditional Odyssey blade shapes that you've seen before. Of course, the number one here. We all know the number one Odyssey blade shape. That's it there. It's the one that Mark Leishman uses. Maybe he's already using it, I don't know. But this is a great looking putter and I'm sure that it's going to perform equally well. You can tell in motion, when you just get it in your hand and you start to swing it, you can feel the weight on the extremities. So that is the significant release from Odyssey this year, the 5K Tri-Hot. This one, yes, it's the, tri not double wide, triple wide. So of course, when we talk about Odyssey, we always think about their premium family of putters and the Toulon family. Sean Toulon has been with the Odyssey brand now for a number of years and continues to make a number of high caliber, high performance, highly crafted, family of putters. You can see them here now, now they're that new black dark finish. We've got the Stroke Lab dark green Stroke Lab shaft. Uh, we've got the Toulon design inspired putter grip up here with a little bit of counterbalancing. Uh, really is a great looking family of putters. Of course, they don't go by numbers in the Toulon family. If you're an Odyssey Toulon fan, well, you probably know that. They've got some signature city names. This one here, it's the San Diego. This one's the Las Vegas. It looks like the number seven. It's got that number seven inspired shape, a little different, but once again, really beautiful design. And the signature feature here, other than being a beautiful crafted putter, is this diamond cut face. So it's not an insert. It's cut into the, mill, into the face uh, in a number of different diamond inspired diamond shaped cuts now that diamond milling into the face that's what's giving you the sound and the feel performance that you want when you're using this putter it's obviously going to feel a little firmer than the white hot insert face but that player that likes that milled putter that firmer feel of that metal on ball the Toulon family is going to be the one that you're going to want to have a look at beautiful that is the Toulon family, and that is the Odyssey release for 2022. A snapshot information of the releases and some of the key technologies, check out the Odyssey blog on the Drum and Golf website. You can go to there at drumandgolf.com.au. Find the blogs, they're a great source of information if you like to read. If you like these videos, we'll be doing more, as I've said. I've enjoyed having you along today. I'm gonna to check out, while it's still light, some Odyssey putters on the putting green down here. And uh, I can't wait to uh, bring you the next vlog. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on DGTV. Like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining. My name's Ross. See you then.